Hey everybody, welcome back, it's the Schmitzel. Today we're playing Proteus. As we go through our Steam list, we seem to really have only taken two games off. So, how do I play this game? It's already confusing me. Click on the, oh, click on the island. Okay, maybe I should read and maybe I should really pay attention to what's going on. So, previously we pl have played Shattered and Little Inferno. We murdered some people in Little Inferno burned some school bus children and uh, really proved how much of a man we are. So what is going on in this game? I, I didn't do any research on this game at all, but uh, maybe this will be a little different and maybe I'll do a let's play on this game or some sort of coverage of this game other than just playing it, not understanding what the hell is going on and then giving up. Because that seems to be the common theme right now and yeah. So we were... Um, this game only reminds me of Minecraft only because it's got weird art. But I feel like there's definitely more to this game. What is going... Okay, so... <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't understand. So you're telling me I'm on an island. Maybe I like games that have island themes. Did you ever think about that one? Because it seems to be, uh, to, or at least it seems to me that I'm all about islands lately. And uh, the island life. Okay, so there's a lot of dancing flowers. What is going on? That's that's my question. What is this game about? You know it would be funny if we ended up playing this game and we, uh, we didn't even figure out what it's about. We play it for like 10 minutes and we're like, okay, that's a good run through and thank you for watching. Just right now. Not even like 8 minutes from now, like... Right now, we just quit because uh, I don't know what the hell's going on. It's a common thing when you just play a game that you don't know what to expect. Especially when a lot of them are indie games, so you really don't know what to expect. And it's really just throwing the whole vibe off here. What What is this? Are these tombstones? What? Excuse me? Are you trying to, you want to go? Okay, so maybe I shouldn't mess around with that. It's making fun of me. That's okay, we'll, we'll get past that. Uh, the art style in this game is very interesting, so I, I really don't know what to talk about here. Right now we're in a situation where we're just tossed on a freaking island and just left to discover what the hell's going on with this game. Basically, we uh, got knocked out. We got really drunk the other night. And uh, right now we're tossed in front of a microphone. We're in the middle of a basement right now. Someone said, hey, this is the game. Uh, I forgot what this game's already called. So, uh, yeah. Proteus. Something like that. And basically, we're, we were just tossed in this freaking island. And now we have to fight our way back to reality. Because we're um, on this island. Okay, so what what am I supposed to be talking about here? Like what okay. We're gonna press escape. What happened? What? Help. I think this is literally a game where we explore an island. I don't even think there's a plot or anything to this. So, um... We're gonna keep just looking around. We're Okay, we're gonna actually try and make some commentary here because I, I'm, not, I'm not giving up that easily because a game decided it owns me by just throwing a big what the fuck at me. See, okay, so we have pink trees. We all know about the pink tree stories. They, they grew from an older tree from many centuries ago, back when trees were uh, all yellow, and all trees were yellow, and then the pink trees came out and said, fuck you, yellow tree, and I, I'm gonna go out and become my own tree species and branch off and really start a revolution amongst the trees and not understand what the hell we're talking about. But, uh... Yeah, that's what trees are. That's why we have pink trees in this game. 
That's exactly why. That's what happened. That's you you, you, you doubt you doubt me here, but uh, go go to your freaking library and uh get a history check there because you're uh you're the one who's wrong and you're gonna be sadly mistaken when I uh win an award for um knowing so much about the pink trees and then reuniting them with the yellow trees because the yellow trees and the pink trees secretly love each other and I, I'm the one who's been delivering their love letters constantly every day to the uh, the tree families and they just can't get over it notice the fact that we hadn't really seen any yellow trees I guess okay that's the yellow tree I know it doesn't look that yellow but it's pretty yellow to me okay so Proteus, um, we found a house, maybe, possibly, we could find a plot to this game, because right now, it seems like Minecraft without all the shit. And that's really good for us, I guess, because, uh, wow. You can't say I didn't give this game a try, man. That's th The point of this is, no matter how ridiculous the game is I'm playing through it because it's on my steam list and I need to play all the steam games and we're gonna eventually have a checklist and we're gonna talk about it compare other games to other games right now this is reminding me of nothing because uh, besides Minecraft without all the tools and fancy stuff so he here's my theory as if you haven't heard enough theories from me this island's cursed from a giant rooster. Yeah, yes, a giant rooster. And it lures people here with its weirdness and it's just, okay, so imagine this is in the Bermuda Triangle. It's just here, there's a giant rooster guarding this island. It's like Polythemus, so it's Polythemus of the roosters. And uh, it's the scariest motherfucker ever and that's why we're running away. So I want to thank you for watching. I, that's a very weird game, and I gave it a chance. I, I did all I could. I mean, I looked at the island, and if there's something that I missed, like this game actually having a point, uh, y'all made the comments and tell me, hey, you're uploading videos that don't even make sense. You literally just walked around and all that. So I want to thank you again for watching. Keep supporting the Let's Play community, and peace out.